In this very short video, I'm going to show you how to do a drop quote, I mean, a, sorry, a drop cap and a pull quote. A drop cap is basically when one or more letters at the beginning of a paragraph um, are bigger than the other, sort of like, you know, when you see the big O on once upon a time. So that's what we're going to do here. And you do this in the paragraph panel. Um, and if you don't have a, the button over here, you can find it uh, under window table table I'm sorry type in tables right there so we have it here I have this uh, this paragraph this text box selected and these are the two controls for drop caps now drop cap number of lines means how how big tall is the letter the drop cap going to be. So if I set it at one, that means it's only one uh, line high, which is its normal height right there. But if I click that up to two, you can see now it the very first letter, letter which is the, the default, and you can see this has jumped to the number one here, um, now covers two lines. And if I increase that and then you'll see three lines. Now if I want more than just the first letter I can tell it I can increase how many letters so I can increase it to do the first word. Now this is Latin I don't know what it means it's lorem ipsum uh, but you get the, the hint or you get the idea on how that works. And now I'm going to show you how to do a pull quote and I added a, a, a return after this sentence right here because this is the sentence I'm going to make a pull quote. Now pull quote is like usually it's a line of text, one sentence, maybe two, maybe a few words that is set off from the rest of the text um, to emphasize it. And it's usually a quote or something like a quote from somebody um, featured in your story or something about your story. So all you have to do is highlight that and what we're going to do is we're going to indent it using the left indent control on the paragraph panel. So I'm going to put it in. Usually you want to do it, you know, um, I don't know, maybe half an inch in. And then I'm also going to do it on the right indent as well. So let's go half an inch on, on that one. All right, so there we've got that. Now you usually also want to make that text a little bit different. So I'm going to pick um, a, a sans serif italic font. So now that's different right there, right? And usually with a pull quote, you have an extra line, uh, empty line ahead of it, on the top of it, before it, and after it. And you can do that with these two controls right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it again, and I'm going to say I want some space before it, so you can set that, and some space after it. And that's what a pull quote looks like.